hey guys i'm back with another video to teach you how to build web applications so in this video we are going to learn about flexbox if you don't know about flexbox it's very simple so a flexbox is a box model where we try to divide the content of the website into boxes and we try to make this website responsive with the help of flexbox so here on the screen you can see the simple project that i've built using flexbox it's not the very interesting project but it's very good to learn the basics of flexbox so in this project you can see that i've divided the content of the website into nine boxes and if we check the responsiveness of this website i can right click inspect and if i reduce the screen size you will see that this entire website is fully responsive and this has been done with the help of flexbox model so in this video we are going to learn this very practically how to make your website responsive how to build the outer structure of your website without wasting any time let's get into the video and see how to use flexbox guys i have a fresh react application that's running on my local host 3000 so to understand flexbox we are going to write some code so let's go back to the visual studio code and so here i have a hello world application running here but i'll write some html and css here to understand how flexbox works so we have a main div element we can give it a class name as container and inside this i'm going to create another div element and let's give it a class name that is box and i'm going to write some css for this box so box is basically we are going to create a box using css so here in app dot css i can say dot box and i can give it a height as 300 pixels width 300 pixels let's give it a background color yellow and we can give it a border style that is dotted so let's see how this box appears on the front end so here you can see that we have simply created one box and we have given it a height and width of 300 pixels with the background color of yellow so we are going to replicate this box multiple times on this website let's go back let's go to app.js and copy this box at least nine times so now we got nine boxes here let's have a look here on the website you can see that the nine boxes are arranged in the vertical direction one after the another I can scroll down and count the number of boxes that are nine so what we want to do is we want to arrange these boxes on this website in a way that the entire website looks responsive and we are going to achieve this with the help of flexbox so along the way we are also going to learn some css properties related to flexbox that help us to make websites responsive so let's go back to the code again so here in the code we can apply some css to this container because all the boxes are within this container class so we can go to app.css again we can write a class that is container let's give it a display flex so we will see on the front end what happens when we give it a display as flex so here you can see that the alignment of the boxes have changed from vertical to horizontal and all the nine boxes are fitting in a single row and earlier all the nine boxes were fitting in a single column so the alignment has changed from vertical to horizontal so what is the main property of flexbox that is doing this change so let's go back and learn about that so in flexbox there is a property that is flex direction and by default this property is set to column and that is the reason by default we see all the boxes in the vertical direction let's keep it as column and let's see so here you can see that all the boxes are again aligned in the vertical direction because by default that property is set to column so if we want to arrange these boxes in a row we can change the flex direction to a row so if i change the, the flex direction to row now all the boxes are appearing in a single row so basically the flex direction basically help us to change the alignment from the horizontal to vertical so it has mainly two values that is a row or a column so because we have aligned the boxes in a row so we can see that all the boxes are appearing in a one single row but the thing here is that 
we don't want all the boxes to fit together in a single row here you can see that in order to fit all the boxes in a single row the size of the boxes has automatically been reduced so if i inspect this and reduce the screen size so as i reduce the screen size the size of the boxes is getting reduced this is not something uh, which can be very responsive so what we want to do is we want the size of the box should remain the same that is 300 pixels by 300 pixels and the boxes that do not fit together in a one row should move to the second row at the bottom so to do that we need to learn about one more flexbox property that is flex wrap so now this is the default that flex wrap is set to no wrap but if i change it to wrap let's see what happens so now you can see that five boxes are arranged in one row and the remaining four boxes moved at the bottom and the size of the boxes is 300 by 300 pixels so even if i reduce the screen size now the size of the boxes will remain the same but the boxes keep moving down so if all the boxes cannot fit together in a row they move down so this is great this is fully responsive but now the thing is the boxes are not aligned in the center so if i reduce the screen size now there is only one box in a row but there is lot of space on the side so we want this box to be aligned in the center so to do that let's go and learn one more property of flexbox so there is another property that is justify content so i can justify the content to the left which is already by default but i can even move it to the right if i want so now you can see that all that space has moved here on the left there is a lot of space but all these boxes are aligned towards the right but we want this this to be in the center which is much more ideal so i'm going to keep it as center so now you can see the boxes are aligned in the center and there is an equal space on the right and the left so now if i reduce the screen size so when the number of boxes per row change the box gets aligned in the center now the spacing on left and right is equal which looks much more better and responsive so now the thing is there is no spacing between the boxes the boxes are sticking to each other what if we want a little bit of space between these boxes so for that there is another property we can define the gap here if i give it a gap of 10 pixels all the boxes will have a spacing of 10 pixels between them so let's see now you can see that the boxes are not sticking together they have pacing around each other which is better so we have built the outer structure of the layout now the, the size of the box can change depending on the layout of your website so you can change the size of the box to anything so once you have made the entire outer layout of the website responsive now you can start putting content within these boxes for example one of the box can have a login form one of the box can have something else it depends how your website looks maybe each box can have an image within the box and all the images are responsive on the front end we are not going to talk about the content here so the basic idea here is to learn how to make the outer structure of the website responsive so we have already done that using flexbox it is fully responsive so now just to show you so now just to give you some idea i am going to put some lorem epsom content within each of these boxes let's go and do that so inside app.js under each box i'm going to put a paragraph tag with some random content i'm going to copy this in all the boxes let's see how it looks on the front end so here on the front end you can see now there is uh, content within the boxes but this will still be responsive if i check if i want to check that i can inspect it i can reduce the screen size now you can see that the website is still responsive with the content within the boxes so this is something we wanted to learn in this video about flexbox if you like this video don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel